Every time the map needs to show an annotation, it calls a view for method on its delegate. We don't implement that method right now, so the default red pin is used with nothing special. Although as you've seen, it's smart enough to zoom up slightly when it's tapped. Customizing an annotation view is a little bit like customizing a table view cell or a collection view cell, because iOS automatically reuses annotation views to make best use of memory. If there isn't one available to reuse, we need to create one from scratch using the MK pin annotation view class. Our custom annotation view is going to look a bit like the default view, with the exception that we're going to add a button that users can tap for more information. So they tap the pin to see some information, then tap its button to see more information. In our case, it's those fascinating facts I spent literally tens of seconds writing. There are a couple of things you'd be careful of here. First, view for will be called for your annotations, but also Apple's annotations. For example, if you enable tracking of the user's location, then that's shown as an annotation, and you don't want to try using it as a capital city. If an annotation is not one of yours, just return nil from the method to have Apple's default used instead. Second, adding a button to the view isn't done using the add target method you saw in project 8. Instead, you just add the button, and the map view will send a message to its delegate, that's us, when it's tapped. So we'll define a reuse identifier, so we can reuse annotation views as much as possible. We'll check whether we're making an annotation for one of our capital objects. We'll try to dequeue an annotation view from the map view's pool of unused views. If we can't find a reusable view, we'll create a new one using MK pin annotation view and set its can show callout property to true. This triggers a pop up with a city name. We'll create a new UI button using the built in detailed disclosure type. This is a small blue eye symbol with a circle around it. If we can reuse a view, we'll update that to use a new annotation. And if the annotation is not from a capital city, we'll return nil so iOS uses a default view. We already used Interface Builder to make our view controller the delegate for the map view. But if you want code completion to work, you should also update your code to declare that the class conforms to the MK map view delegate protocol. So I'll go to Xcode and I'll modify my view controller class here. It inherits from UI view controller and also conforms to MK map view delegate, like that. So we'll get all the code completion for that delegate protocol. Next, let's add our view for method. I will scroll down and fight in space and write view for. Uh, the first thing we'll do is make sure our annotation is a capital. If it is not, we will bail out immediately and return nil to get the built in iOS annotation view for that annotation. So we'll say guard annotation is capital, else return nil. Exit immediately for all the built in non capital stuff. Next, we'll say let identifier equals capital. That's the reuse identifier we'll be using to make our annotation views. You can now say var annotation view is equal to map view dot dq reusable annotation view with identifier. And our identifier is just identifier like that. So we'll get one back if it exists, if there is one in the reuse queue. Otherwise, we'll get back nil. If we get back nil, we are create one by hand. So we'll say if annotation view is equal to nil, then annotation view is equal to mk pin annotation view, with the annotation being whatever annotation was passed in, and identifier is still identifier. We'll say annotation view question mark dot can show callout is true. This still needs a button attached to it, so we'll say uh, let btn equals a new UI button with the type dot detail disclosure. So you get a little i i button for information. And then annotation view question mark dot write callout accessory view equals that button. Below that condition, at the end of the if, we'll add an else saying annotation view question mark the annotation is our annotation that was passed in. So if we have an existing annotation view in a DQ queue, go ahead and use it straight away with our new annotation. Regardless of whether we're reusing or not, we have to return the thing, so we'll just say return annotation view, like that. Send it back. Now let's press Command R again to build and run our app, and all being well, we should see some more information. So there's London, and now you can see it's a regular iOS pin. And when I tap on that, up pops up London with an I button next to it. Doesn't do anything, but at least it kind of works. Boom. 
Now, like I said, you don't need to use add target to add an action to the button because you'll automatically be told by the map view using a call out accessory control tap method. When this method's called, you'll be told what map you sent it. We only have one, so that's easy enough. What annotation view the button came from, which is useful, as well as the button that was tapped. The annotation view contains a property called annotation, which will contain our capital object. So we can pull that out, typecast it as a capital, then show its title and information in any way we want. The easiest for now is just to use a UI alert controller. So that's what we'll do. I'll go back to Xcode and add a new method. And this one's called call out accessory control tapped. Boom. It's quite a long one, so please use code completion. First, we'll make sure our annotation is actually a capital. We'll do so safely. We'll say guard let capital is equal to view dot annotation as question mark capital else return. So as anything else, this method should never really have been called. So let's bail out quietly. Otherwise, we'll say let place name is equal to capital dot title. Let place info is equal to capital dot info. And then let AC is a UI alert controller. The title being place name and the message being place info. A preferred style is just dot alert. We'll do AC dot add action, UI alert action. Title will be OK, style dot default and no handler, just dismiss it straight away. And then present AC animated, true. So it appears straight away. And with that, the project's done. We have pins in place, we have city names being shown when the pins are tapped, and more information hopefully poppy up when the button's tapped. Let's find out. Here's London, there's the I button, press that, boom. Let's go across to Rome. Down here somewhere, there we go. I will tap Rome. Press the I button, fantastic. 